Hello, my name is Krim and you're watching Zodiac TV. Subscribe. Hey guys, my name is Zodiac and today I'm gonna teach you how to make this 3D text that I used in my movie. Uh, for this you're gonna need Buju or you can use Adobe After Effects 3D Camera Tracker but I'm gonna use Buju. And you're also gonna need Element 3D which is a plugin from Video Copilot. So let's get started. So I've already got the footage, I've recorded it. And it looks like this. Now I, I want to track the text and make it appear here. I'm gonna say, just say, it's gonna say just Mirage or something. Okay, so we need to export our footage and go to Format JPEG. Now, it, Buju works best with JPEG footages, so we're gonna use JPEG. And we're gonna make our own uh, preset. Uh, like leave everything to 100 that's the resolution i'm using but change the frame rate to 60 because 60 looks best if you recorded your footage in 60 fps i did and use maximum render settings and ma render at maximum depth okay then don't forget to name your jpegs like go to your folder and name it render or something then make another folder and name it mirage render footage or whatever you like I'm gonna name it uh, I don't know mirage and underscore and save and click export it's gonna take a while, so we'll see you later. And we're done. Yeah, we're done. Okay, so the footage has exported. Now I'll open up Buju, which is this program. And click import sequence. And you locate your sequence, which mine is located, I think, on disk E. YouTube, Zodiac, um, editing tutorials, 3D tracking, render, mirage render footage. See a bunch of pictures were created so that's why you need to make a separate folder for them. Okay so I'm gonna click on the first and open and don't forget to set the frame rate again to 60 and choose fr everything else should be as exactly as it is and click apply and close okay so now we have our footage in Buju see and now we just click track features and start and again we just wait for for it to track features oh yay the footage has been tracked okay so now that the footage is tracked you get a bunch of these crosshairs with yellow lines so that's okay and now you just click camera solve and leave everything as it is and just click stop and again we just wait like tracking footage is just a bunch of waiting this is it like it solved the camera and we got a bunch of these points and they stay exactly where they should be like and now the important part like we don't know where the points are placed based on our geometry we just click on the 3d set active view to 3d mode and ha huh, look it's actually it's actually the map if you look closely that's actually the map like see this is triple box like this is the triple box and this is the d default Okay, so so now we have to we have to place it on this Y and Z and X axis. So we just click this and this. So we rotate it like this. So it's like we need to make it straight. Maybe like this and then we just move it up a bit so so they're on the line and now I 
think we're actually good like this is this is actually it okay so now we go back to the t 2d view nothing's changed here but now we need to like set the points we want to export e otherwise it's gonna export every little dot and it's gonna be a mess enough on after effects so we need to we need to just select the points we want to export so i'm gonna choose this one and and click flag for export and maybe this one and maybe this one and maybe this one oh it's lagging okay okay so i selected a couple of points now this is gonna create nulls in after effects on which you you will place your 3d text so it's just a representation in uh, space, so you know where to place it. Okay, so now that we selected some points for export, now we can go to export, export camera solve, and we find the folder you want to export in. Like, I'm gonna go find mine, editing tutorials, 3D tracking, and change to After Effects Maya and name it like. Mirage Camera Solve But this is not it You need to click export flag tracks only Otherwise it's gonna export everything And you need to scale scene by 1000 So don't forget to write 1000 Otherwise it's gonna not gonna be good Okay so that's it Just click this And that's it Actually now we just go to After Effects and Okay, so now that we exported the camera soul, we go to After Effects and we just Ctrl plus I. So we import the camera soul, which is Mirage camera soul, and it actually makes a composition. And it just looks like this, just a black screen. And now, now we need to import our render footage as we did in Buju. Import it. And don't forget to change it to 60 FPS or whatever are you using. So I go with 60 because it looks better. And just put this footage into this comp. Okay, so now the the nulls actually stay there. See, like it's actually in its place. And and I know it's delayed, but it's actually perfectly there. Okay, so now. Like now we, we need to put the text which we want in. So like I'm gonna use just Mirage like with the same font and everything. And I'm gonna hide it. And then I'm gonna create a new solid and call it Element 3D. And now this is where the plugin comes in from Video Copilot. So you go Video Copilot Element. And it takes a little while to open, but it's gonna work. Like, I have a really slow computer, so it's taking a while. That's, that's why I, like, need so long to make frag movies and stuff. Okay, so now you go to custom layers, custom text m and masks, and just select your layer, which is Mirage. Like, we, we select the text, like this text. And then go to scene setup. And just click extrude and it should create our 3d text see and it's really nice but uh, first like it's in the center of the grid we need to place it on top of the grid so I think you can do this also here like change the position uh, or we can just change the alignment which is actually better so I'm gonna go with bottom and this puts it exactly on here and now like we go we can go to materials they got some ma basic materials here but you can like use your own materials let's go with something crazy like blue wireframe or something no it actually looks ugly okay let's go with this paint red mirage okay and now just press okay and it's there the text is there but it doesn't look okay see it's all fucked up like it's all like in in the ground or something okay so now you go to group one 
and you go to create group null and just click create okay so this creates a null which controls this object so now we just go to like select one of those nulls like we want the text somewhere around here so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and select uh, this null like it's this one I think okay and I'm just gonna go P for position and I'm gonna copy this position and paste it here and we're just gonna rotate it not like that I, th I think like that okay so we rotate it and maybe scale it up a little bit and this should be it uh, yeah it fits perfectly like look at this it's it actually says mirage and it's standing right there so this this is how you track a 3d text now i'm gonna show you some more stuff like uh like how to do the shadows and stuff so it looks way nicer but this is actually the basic and you can do anything you want like you can put that notices like i did and it's the same like look at this it's nice it stays perfectly still okay so now i'm gonna show you a little trick like we're gonna make a new object which is a plane and we're gonna make it group two and we're gonna make it a little bigger i'm much bigger actually so and we're gonna paste we're gonna create a null for it and we're gonna paste the same position so it's like we created the ground for it so now when we go to element and we go to render settings and we go to ambient occlusion and enable it like it makes a see a ground like we have shadows and everything like i know it's reflective right now but now we can make this white plane invisible which is next thing we're gonna do we go to scene and select the plane and select the material and go scroll down until you see uh where is it where is it it should be right here matte shadow okay so we select the matte shadow and it disappears and look it creates a shadow over here it now it looks already much much better like it has a shadow and everything now i know it's not it does not look realistic because the shadow would must be coming from like this angle and it should be and it should be like more of a blue bluish color but you can like play with the settings and create something that looks good like maybe enable ray traced shadows and all the light and just play with it and you're gonna enjoy it and that's it guys see you in the next tutorial or in the next video bye and don't forget to like comment and subscribe hey hey